What's up, y'all? It's your boy, JTMMAK. Just 10 more minutes, aka the freaking 10. Back again with more Sabaton, this time with Nuclear Attack. I've, I, As I've said on the past couple of songs, I, I've taken a different approach and looked at Sabaton history, picked it out, and then grabbed the song. Um, I, also, this one, you know... It, Generally, what my my thought process is, I've avoided doing ones like Devil Dogs and ones that focus heavily more on U.S. just because I've got a little more knowledge on those at a surface level. I want that history that I have no clue about. Now, that being said, obviously, there's only been a limited number of nuclear attacks in history, but this is one that, that the song title itself caught me. Um, and so I was like, you know what, that will be a good one. Let's get into that one. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested to see the, the viewpoint they take on this, right? Is it the dropping? Is it the, the receiving of it? What is it? Because it's not a very, glorious song in the sense right and not all of theirs are but this is i mean this is just disturbing in the sense I, i'm not a fan of nuclear crap um just not at all I, I, that just to me is an extreme um so that being said let's check it out okay I really like the music behind it. And I think it gets, it's, I would almost say it's a little dark in a very good way, but I think that it fits the topic. A lot of, it, one of the things I admire, many things, and I've probably said it before, is just that they are absolute masters at setting the mood with their music. And I think it's very underrated with that uh, of of how well they do that. Why these guys, and I realize, you know, yes, they've got a following of almost 2 million, at least on their YouTube channel. But these guys are so freaking underrated. I mean, they should have 100 million followers and people should be listening to their songs in schools and then watching the Sabaton history episodes. Um, I've learned more about history with their music than I ever did in school. And they set the mood so well. Prepare for nuclear attack. Dropped from Manola, a city erased. Threat of a future displayed. A power unheard of a power unseen. Flash out of nowhere, the sky is burning. At 8.16 a.m., Tokyo Control realized something was wrong. Reports of explosion, destruction, and pain. Air raid from hell. City gone in a blaze. And then they just go to this, really this kind of, I don't know what you would even call it. But, I mean, it was just this very blunt line. August in black, B-29s turning back. Man. Warned but did not heed. Extermination. Choose not to believe. 
and in between those it was prepare for nuclear attack another nuclear attack wow I really like this one. Let's keep going. Oh, that was a good song, a dark song. <clears throat> and it's one of those where, for me personally, it's like, I was sitting here thinking to myself, you know, at what point do you truly drop a nuke, right? And we all know why the bomb was, or bombs, plural, I should say, in Nagasaki and Hiroshima were dropped. But, you know, it's it's nothing more, honestly, than just a big pissing contest. Right. And that's what I that's what irritates me about war sometimes is it's like, oh, you're going to attack me. OK, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Right. And and. I don't know, I just. War fascinates me in the sense of the strategies, as I've said. But these people that cause it in the sense of their actions and what they're doing. That, that's the part that just it's like, why? I mean, I again, I get it right. But I'll get more into that in tomorrow with the. The history and as they talk about certain topics I'll, I'll give more of an opinion the song itself i really like this one um this is one of my favorites in the sense and, and where i struggle with it is it, but it's really with a lot of sabaton songs is you're like 
damn, that's a good song. And then you think about the content of the song and you're like, is it, you know, you, it, it almost makes you feel bad for liking it. Not in the sense of, you know, where I'm like, oh, I, you know, I'm such a horrible person. But for me, it's one of those where I just, it, the topics are dark, you know, and they, they tell about what damages were done, you know, and that's one of the reasons I haven't kind of covered Final Solution yet. It is I, I'm trying to get some of these other songs out there because I know that one's going to get me. Um, it, it, that just those topics always do um, with, with very with anger and stuff like that. This is a really good song. The lyrics are not anything that you know jump out and say. Oh, that's a really cool line in that sense, but it's the conglomeration of the entire lyric set that make this a really good song. From the southeast came the second attack, threat of tomorrow unveiled. 1102 on the 9th of August, over the valley like ball lightning. The bomb detonates and the land turns to waste, barren for decades to come. The factories burning, the steelworks destroyed. Surrender your war or else perish in flames. Second attack, B-29s turning back. Warned but did not heed. Prepare for nuclear attack. Extermination, strike back. Choose not to believe. Another nuclear attack. And they kind of repeat that with just one other line of another, another, another nuclear attack. And it just, it, this does such a great job of, of really giving you the visual. And it's a very sad visual. You know, I, I, I think I've said it before. Troops fighting, I get. Go have your pissing contest about who's got a bigger army, who swings a bigger one. You know, that's fine. Soldiers are soldiers, right? But... You know, just going and blatantly attacking innocent. Again, I get the flex. I get, you know, the saying, hey, you know, back the hell off or we'll destroy you. I get all that. But it's just like, you know what? Put it away. Zip your pants up and just grow up and talk to somebody. You know. But. <clears throat> when. <clears throat> excuse me. You know, there's a flip side to that. And it's a very dangerous flip side. But. Yeah, go screw with the big dog. The big dog's going to bite you. And that's not me, you know, coming, oh, America. No, I'm just saying that that's throughout history. And this doesn't apply to just this situation in any war. If you go pick on the big, strong dude and you provoke them, you're going to get bitten. I don't care if it's the U.S. or, you know. Germany going into Russia or, you know, any of these it, go back through any war. It, you just you just don't do that. That's where the stupidity comes in. It, that's where the, the people's psychology just absolutely fascinates me where it's like they they go in sometimes and they're like, I think this is going to be a good decision to go do this. And then they come back with their tail between their legs. You know, many leaders have been like that throughout time where it's just like, yeah, we're going to go do this. And then it's just like, I don't think we thought that through all the way. So great song. Can't wait to see the history tomorrow. Um, and, and just, you know, I'll give more of my thoughts on it tomorrow. But damn good song. I really love the melody to this one. This one's kind of a classic Sabaton song where they get the 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 chorus type uh, harmonies. Um, yeah, just a damn solid song. All right, that's going to do it this one before I ramble on anymore. I'll see you on the history tomorrow. I love each and every one of y'all. This is just such a fascinating journey. I'm absolutely digging it. Y'all know who I am and what I'm about. JTMM. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm out.